Hey, good afternoon family, how you all doing? I hope you are doing great family. I hope you are doing wonderful, great this afternoon. May the Lord bless you, may the Lord favor you. Um, this afternoon when I was reading the book of Genesis, um, Genesis, I think Genesis 37. So I was just going through um, the book of Genesis about Joseph, um, about Joseph's story, um, what God actually um, do for Joseph that made Joseph dream to actually come to pass. Joseph never really gave up on his dream. He believed in God and he believed on his dream because he keep having his dream. So the Lord laid in my heart that I should, I should share this word that um, I share this word. Do not allow your dream to die. So that's what the Lord actually laid in my heart. Okay that you should not allow your dream to die, your vision, do not allow your vision to die, it means somebody, do not allow your vision, your dream that you had, do not allow that dream to die, Joseph never allowed his dream to die, God was giving him these dreams, God was giving him those dreams that he was having, that he was having, when he was having those dreams, he was actually telling his brothers the dream that the, that God was actually revealing, revealing, revealing to him. So he told his brothers his dream. So they become they hate him because of that. Some of us we have dream. The Lord has given us so many dreams. We have dream that the Lord has given us. The enemy did not want that dream to actually come to pass. The enemy is trying to kill your dream. They are trying to stop you. For what God has showed you, for what God has revealed you in fiction, because dream can come in fiction. Dream can come in so many ways. What are your dreams that God has given you? The enemy are trying to stop your dream. Do not allow the enemy to stop your dream. Do not allow the enemy to kill your vision. Because so many of us we have dream, we have vision. Of what we want to do we have vision of what the Lord has revealed to us but the enemy have stole so many people's dream away the enemy have killed so many people's vision that they no longer even think about what God has revealed to them we should not allow our vision to die we should not allow our dream to die Joseph never allowed his dream to die Despite the circumstances that was around him, despite the challenges that he was going through, true, he never allowed his dream to die. The devil was trying to kill his dream. The devil was trying to stop Joseph, not to fulfill his calling, not to fulfill his dream, not to fulfill the vision that God has given him. The devil was trying to stop him. They tried every means to make sure that our dream did not come to pass. But what Joseph do? Joseph never, he never, he never allowed the enemy to steal that dream away from him. He never allowed the enemy to come to kill his dream. Joseph was looking beyond what was actually happening around him. He was looking beyond the, the physical realm. He was looking at the spiritual realm. He was looking at what God has shown him. And what God has revealed to him, that's what Joseph was looking at, what God has revealed to him. He was looking at that dream and he got hold of that dream. He never gave up his dream. He never gave up that dream. He never gave up the dream that, Lord, that the Lord has revealed to him. He held on to his dream. He held on to his dream and he believed in God. Joseph was so close to God. He was so closer to God. He was so closer to God. When God has given you a dream, do not allow the enemy to kill that dream. Do not allow the enemy to steal that dream from you. Because that dream, when it comes to pass in your life, you will see what God will do for you. You will see what God will do for you. You will see the manifestation of God's power in your life. Joseph never gave up his dream. He never gave up his dream. Even when Potiphar's wife were trying to, 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 to kill that dream that Joseph had, was trying to steal Joseph's dream away from him, was trying to make sure that, that Joseph's dream did not come to pass, but Joseph registered him. 
he registered her. Just a register her. Just a flee me away from her. He flee me away from her. It was by the grace of God that made Joseph to flee me away from her. I want to ask this question. How many of us can actually do what Joseph did? How many of us can do what Joseph did? How many of us can do that? Let's be sincere to ourselves. How many of us that kind of temptation? How many of us can register that kind of temptation? How many of us that can flee from that temptation? Because the enemy now see your dream, the enemy now see what you will become, the enemy now see what God has revealed for you, the enemy now see what God wants to do for you, the enemy now see the dream that God has given you. They have seen it that that dream is so bright that your future is so bright that they will measure by any mix they want to kill that dream for you, that they don't want that dream to come to pass. They will try by any mix. They will go by any length to make sure that that dream that God has given you did not come to pass. How many of us can overcome such temptation? Let's be sincere to ourselves. How many of us can overcome such temptation? How many of us? It's very rare. It's very rare. And that's what the enemy are using to kill so many people's dreams today all over the world. The devil is using every means. The devil can use anybody to kill your dream. To kill the dream that God has given you. He can use anybody. When he has seen the dream that, oh, this person's future is so bright. No, we will not allow him to be. They will try by any means. Have you not heard about so many stories about how the devil, they send people in the marine realm, in the marine world. They will come in a physical world. To come and destroy people's future, to come and destroy people's dream, to come and kill people's dream. It's only when you are spiritual, that's when you can see that. Oh no, you say that you have failed. Your plan has failed. Your plan has been destroyed. When God opens your eyes to see what is happening, what the things that is happening in the world today, you'll be amazed. It's not all human beings you see that are human beings. There are some people that are angels from their agent of darkness that the enemy have sent into this world to destroy God's people, to destroy God's people's dream, to destroy God's people's vision. Their vision, to destroy their vision, to destroy their vision, to destroy their destiny. The devil have sent them in the marine rain to come and destroy God's children's destiny. And most people who are not Christians, most people who are not spiritually strong enough, they fall for it. They fall for these things. Before you know, you start to start, you know, going out with marine darkness. People who get you up from marine. They'll go and have sex with people who are marine. Before you know, the dream, their fiction, their, 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 their destiny. Or we just go under the drain. Or we just go under the drain. The dream that God has given you, everything will just go under the drain. The dream that God has showed you, everything will just go like that. They have taken your dreams. They have taken so many people's style. They have taken so many people's future. They have taken so many people's destiny. They have taken so many people's vision. They have destroyed so many people. That's why we don't need to give the enemy a chance. We don't need to give the enemy a chance to steal away our dream. To steal away our vision that the Lord has given us. The Lord has given you a vision. Me that I'm sitting here today, the Lord gave me a vision way back ago. And here am I by a special grace of God. I'm fulfilling my vision. The Lord gave me a vision that I'm going to be a preacher. And I have... I had I had that vision so many times, so many times in the dream where I'll be preaching to people, where I'll be minister to people. So many times the Lord has revealed to me, but by special grace of God, I'm here today to fulfill that dream. What about you? What about you? Are you ready to fulfill your destiny? Are you ready to fulfill that dream that the Lord has given you? Are you ready to fulfill that vision that the Lord has shown to you? 
You must not be a minister. You must not be a preacher. But the God has given you a vision that you can use to impart into people's life. Do not allow that dream to die. Do not allow that dream to die. Do not allow that vision to die the Lord has showed you. Do not allow it to die. The Lord has showed you a vision. You know what the Lord has showed you. Do not allow the enemy to steal it away from you. Do not. So many people in this generation today, they are so empty. When you see that they are nothing because the enemy have taken away their future. The enemy have taken away their dream. The enemy have taken away their, their vision. They are just living for living sake. Why? Because they don't know Christ. Why? They don't, they don't have the spirit of God inside of them. That's why the Bible said the devil is a rolling lion, searching and looking for who to, who to destroy. He wants to destroy so many people. God is after God's uh, uh, children, after God's people. That's what the enemy is after. Of. They are after God's people to destroy God's people. That's why they are here on this earth, so that they will not fulfill their calling. They will not fulfill their destiny. They will not fulfill their future. They will not fulfill what God has actually called them to do here on earth. The enemies are after them, chasing after them, chasing after them to destroy them. But will you, will you allow him to destroy you? Will you allow him to destroy your dream? Will you allow him to destroy your vision? So many of you, God has called you to be a minister, but the enemy, they are holding you backwards that you will not fulfill because they know that when they're giving you a pretty space, they, will, they know that they are in trouble. They know that the kingdom is in trouble. So, so they will do anything by armies to make sure that that dream, that, that, that what God has called you for, did not come to a uh, reality. Many of you, God has called you to preach the gospel, but what are you doing? Do you want? Do you, do you just? Uh, do you want to allow the enemy to steal that vision away to destroy your vision? Praise the Lord, somebody! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! My God! My God! My God! My God! My God! The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Will you allow the devil to steal it away from you? Of course, no. Of course, you will not allow the enemy because he's a destroyer. He has destroyed so many people. He has destroyed so many people. He's still going around to destroy so many people. He's still going around to destroy so many people's life. He's still going around. That's why we have to be closer to God. Joseph was closer to God. Supposing Joseph was not closer to God, I believe Joseph would have not fulfilled his dream. He was closer to God. He was praying. He was praying to God. And God heard him. And his dream actually fulfilled it, actually come to pass into reality. What are you doing with the dream that God has given you? Have you been praying? Have you been crying out to God that God, the dream that you're giving me, my God, let it to come to pass in my life. Let this dream to be fulfilled in my life. Let this dream to come into reality. Let this dream to come into be. Have you been praying? Have you been praying or you are just quiet sitting down there? If you are quiet, how do you expect that dream to come to pass in your life? How do you expect that dream to come into reality? How do you expect that dream to come into be when you are not praying? Some of you have a dream that you have a company that people are under you. Some of you have a dream that you're a big businessman, that your business are going internationally. Some of you have a different kind of dream. Will you allow that dream to die? Will you allow that dream to just go like that? Oh, because the finance is not there. Are you? Oh my God, man, Just because the finance is not there, you just give up easily. Don't you know what your God can do for you? Don't you know the God you serve? He's the creator of this world. He owns all things. Everything that you see in this world today is your father that owns it. Will you allow your dream to die? 
So if you have the dream that you are doing well in your business, you are into business. So if you have the dream that you went into business, you are doing well, you are flourishing in that business, or wherever you had a dream of, but you are doing well in that dream, you find yourself doing mighty, you find yourself doing great things. That's another way to impart into people's life. That's another means to impart into people's life in a godly way. In a godly way. In a godly way. Let's see beyond the physical realm. Let's see beyond our situation. Let's see beyond it. Let's hold of that dream that God has given us. Let's get a hold of that vision that God has given us. Let's get a hold of it and look and set our eyes into that vision, into that dream that the Lord has shown us, that the Lord has given us. We get a hold of it. When the devil comes to steal it away, you say, No, Satan, I will not allow you to steal this dream away from me. When the devil comes to bring the attention, you say, No, Satan, I will overcome you by the blood of the Lamb. I will overcome it by the blood of the Lamb. You are not giving up. The Lord is telling you, don't give up. You are not giving up. It's your God that provides. He provides everything that you need. It's your provider. If the money is not there for you to accomplish your dream, does that mean that your dream will not come, that dream will not come into reality? And say maybe you just want to give up on it. You don't want to pursue your dream. That's why I, I, there's a word I share yesterday. Trust in God. Trust in the Lord. Put your trust in Him. When you trust Him, He will definitely provide for you. It will surely pro. He's the provider. He's the provider. If you know the God you serve, if you know your God, if you know the God you serve, He's a mighty God. Silver and gold belongs to Him. Silver and gold belongs to him. He's the owner of the is the owner of everything. So I'm not allowed of oh, there's no finance to pursue my dream. No. <clears throat> That's one of the excuses that the enemy would like you to give. Have you committed into the hands of God? Have you taken that dream to God? Have you taken that vision to God? Have you got on your knees? Have you got on your knees to pray to God? Oh my God, Mashaka to Soprani, he that about the leader of a shaka taba, leader of a soko pai, he that a mandi Rado shaka taba, and a banana basoko to the bosha. Mandi he that a soprani, he that a bashake, he that a mandi, he that a banana bashaka tada baba shaka tada baya. Mandi he that a soko pali, he that a mandi, he that a bashaka tea. Libra huska lead on the malina bosha. Radica diska he that a shaka ta. Balibra di. Put your trust in me, says the Lord. Do you not allow your dream to die? Your true dream, some of you, your true dream, they had a dream. And maybe they have told you about their dream. And mom, I had a dream. I had a dream that I'm doing when I had a dream that I went to business. I had a dream that I'm doing when the business. I had a dream I was a lawyer. I have a dream I'm a doctor. They have so many dreams. Your true dream have come to you and share their dreams to you. Do not allow their dreams to die. Do not allow their dreams to die. Whatsoever dream that your children have had, some of them, maybe they say, Mommy, I have a dream that I'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pastor. That's what God wanted to be. That's what God wanted to be. Did not, do not allow their dream to die. Do not commit it into the hands of God. Pray for them. Pray for their dream. Pray for their vision. Commit it into the hands of God. So that the devil will not steal it away from them. So that whatsoever they had will surely come to pass in their life. Pray. Pray for your children. Always pray for them. My boy always come to me, Ingram. He said, Daddy, I want to be a Navy officer. I want to be a... It's like a ringing tune. 
I want to be a Navy officer. That I want to. That is his dream. That is his passion. That is the passion he had inside of him that he wants to be a Navy officer. I told him, I said, is that what the Lord wanted to be? So be it. Because I will not allow that dream to die. Put it in prayer for him. Pray for him. So that that dream he has will surely come to pass in his life. Because that's the dream that God has given him to become a Navy officer. What about you? What about your children? What about your children? We should not allow their dreams to die. What about us? We should not allow, allow our dreams to die. The devil is a lorry liar. He's a rolling and looking for who to destroy. He's looking for who to destroy. He's looking for people's dreams to destroy. But he has failed. He has failed. The devil don't have power over us. He has failed. The Lord is telling you somebody right now that is watching you. He said, that dream you had, do not allow that dream to die. Do not allow the devil to steal it away from you. He said, put your trust in me. Do not look at what is around you, the situation around you. But set your eyes on me. But I, God, will make it to come to pass for you. I will make your dream to come to pass. Whatsoever you had, whatsoever vision you found yourself, I will make that vision to come into play. I will make it to come to pass in your life. Some of us, we have our goals of the year. We have um, our goal of this year, 2022. Do not allow the enemy to steal your God away from you. Do not allow the enemy to steal that vision away from you. The vision that you had in, in this year 2022, that this is the vision I had, this is what I want to do. Do not allow the enemy to steal it away from you. Take it to God. Take it to God. And when you commit it into the hands of God, oh my God. Road will open for you. Things will start opening. Doors will start opening for you. Hallelujah, somebody. The presence of God is so strong in our midst. His presence of God is so strong. We should always be in His presence. We should always be in His presence. We should. Oh my God. Don't allow the devil to steal your dream. Don't allow the devil to steal your vision from you. The vision you have to not. To not. To not. Man shaka to sopra di hida la bash. Lida la da basso do 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 shaka ta hida la badia. Rado shaka ta hida la basso kupa di hida la badia. Lida la ma sheke de basso kupa di hida la bash shaka ta ha ha. Le kuso pra di hida la mani hida la basso shaka ta da 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 basso pra di. Ikatoso kupa ya. Lord Jesus, I pray for your children. I pray for your people. My Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Love, whatsoever dreams that your children had, they have had, whatsoever vision that your children they have had, for a lady to come to pass in their life in the name of the Lord Jesus. Do not allow the devil to steal away their dream, away their vision, of God. Do not allow the devil to kill their dream for them, O God. Father in heaven, mashaka to so palida na mandi hida na mashaka ta na ba ya. Rado shahi ba na na ba. Every foxes that want to steal away God's children's dream, my God, I come against that foxes right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every foxes that have been sent from the marine world to come to destroy. Struggles to drink. Makonda lida da mani hida da bashi. Ignore sakata bala. Ikado shakata da da bala da bo sakata lida da basha. 
Le Crusco Pali Ranamande Hiranabasha. May the Lord may the Lord fulfill your dream for you. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your dream will never die. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your dream will come to pass. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. The Lord is bringing your dream into reality. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. The Lord is bringing your vision into reality, into being. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Makata Bali Hiranamande. The enemy will not steal it away from you. He will not steal it away from your children. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, your dream will surely come to pass. In the name of our Lord Jesus, your dream will always come to pass. He will surely come to pass. In the name of our Lord Jesus, they will fulfill their calling. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, whatsoever foxes that the enemy have assigned in the spiritual reign in the modern kingdom to destroy God's people's dream, to destroy God's people's vision. I come against it right now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. I set a fire from heaven to consume and destroy them in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord. Look at the story of Joseph. A dream actually came, his dream actually his dream actually come into being. They come into reality. The brothers that the enemy were using to destroy Joseph's dream, they all come to battle before him. They all come to battle before him. May the Lord cause your enemy to battle before you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Your enemy that will come to bow down before you. Whosoever is trying to kill your dream, to destroy your dream, to destroy the vision that God has given you, they will come and bow down before you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They have come to bow down before Joseph. They bow down before him. These are the people that was trying to kill Joseph's dream. The Lord is so great. The Lord is so wonderful. May your dream come to pass. May your dream come to reality. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father. We give it all the glory. We thank you for this world. Father, this world, let it be a blessing to your people, to your children, in the name of our Lord Jesus. And let this world make an impact into their lives in the name of our Lord Jesus. And let them run with this world and they will see the changes that they are looking for in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Please just go ahead and like this video. Go and like this video, like this video, share this video, subscribe. If you have first time here, go ahead and subscribe into the channel so that you can get to watch more of this wonderful world that the Lord is giving us. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord favor you. I see you tomorrow, family. Have a beautiful day.